we will continue our discussion on complex exponential Fourier series and in this presentation we are going to solve the fourth example in this example the signal xt has period equal to 1 and the following Fourier coefficients are given and we are required to find signal xt there are four options and in all the four options you can see series is not present so it is very much clear that we are not required to find complex exponential Fourier series using the coefficients given in the problem we are required to find original signal xt not the expansion so let's see how we can find signal xt using the Fourier coefficients given in the problem we already know the complex exponential Fourier series expansion is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity cn e power jn omega naught t first we will calculate omega naught because we know the period is equal to 1 and omega naught is equal to 2 pi divided by the period which is equal to 1 so omega naught is equal to 2 pi so signal xt is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity cn e power jn 2 pi t now if you see the problem you will find when n is less than 0 when n is negative cn is equal to 0 and when n is equal to 0 and when it is positive cn is equal to minus 1 over 3 raised to power n so i will break the summation into two different parts in the first part we will have the summation n starting from minus infinity to zero and according to the info given in the problem cn is equal to zero when n is less than zero this means here we will have cn equal to zero multiplied to e power j n 2 pi t plus summation n equal to 0 to infinity and here you can see cn is equal to minus 1 over 3 raised to power n so we will have a minus 1 over 3 power n multiplied to e power jn 2 pi t now we will solve it further and you can see from the first summation we will get 0 because all the coefficients are equal to 0 and from here we will have summation n equal to 0 to infinity you can see n is common so we will have minus 1 over 3 multiplied to e power j 2 pi t whole power n when n is equal to 0 we will have 1 when n is equal to 1 we will have minus 1 over 3 e power j 2 pi t and so on so we will quickly write down the series and we will have 1 when n is equal to 0 when n is equal to 1 we will have minus 1 over 3 e power j 2 pi t when n is equal to 2 we will have minus 1 over 3 e power j 2 pi t whole square plus so on now if you see the series you will find it is GP it is geometric progression because we have the common ratio R the common ratio R is equal to second term divided by the first term and it is equal to minus 1 over 3 e power j 2 pi t you can also find R by dividing the third term by the second term or in general we can say that the nth term is divided by n minus 1th term to give us the common ratio r the ratio will not change throughout the series and that's why we can say that it is a gp and you can see signal xt is equal to sum of different terms in other words we can say that to find signal xt we need to find the sum of all the terms present in this series and we have infinite terms from n equal to 0 to n equal to infinity we have infinite terms so we need to find sum of infinite terms present in this geometric progression so s infinity we need to find 
For this, I will use the formula of sum of first n terms, which is represented by S sub n. It is equal to A multiplied to 1 minus R power n divided by 1 minus R. But there is one condition along with this formula. The R, which is the common ratio, should be less than 1 but greater than minus 1. So this is the condition. And here A is the first term. Our first term is 1 here. Now we are interested in finding out the sum of infinite terms. Therefore, n will become infinity. And as you can see, R is between minus 1 and 1. It will be something like 0 0.25, etc. And 0 point something power infinity will give you 0. So this term will become 0. So we are left with a divided by 1 minus r. So this is the formula for sum of infinite terms in case of gp. Now the condition will remain same. r should be less than 1 but greater than minus 1. In our case, the common ratio r is complex. And for complex, we have the condition mod r should be less than 1. It is nothing different from this condition. But in this case, we need to calculate the modulus of the complex number, which is very easy because we already know the Euler's formula. You can have e power j 2 pi t as cos 2 pi t plus j sine 2 pi t. From here, you can calculate the magnitude and you will find after dividing it by 3, it is always less than 1. Therefore, our complex common ratio is satisfying this condition and we can use this formula. So let's quickly use this formula to find signal xt, s infinity or simply signal xt is equal to a divided by 1 minus r, a is equal to 1, 1 minus r, r is equal to minus 1 by 3 multiplied to e power j 2 pi t, e power j 2 pi t. I will open this bracket and we will have 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by 3 e power j 2 pi t. So this is the expression of signal xt and this is our answer. If you see the four options you will find option b is the correct option. So this is the complete solution and now we will move to the homework problem. The homework problem is similar to the problem we have solved in this lecture. In this case, the coefficient cn is equal to 1 over 2 power n whenever n is greater than 0 or equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 whenever n is less than 0. And the period and the period is given as 2 and you need to find x of 0. This is the question. I will give you four options. Option A is 2, option B is 4, option C is 6 and option D is 8. The process is very simple. First you need to find signal xt and once you have signal xt, just put t equal to 0. When you put t equal to 0, you will have x0 and x0 is what you need to calculate in this question. So once you have your answer, post it in comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.